You knew at five, we're hearing from some in the Jewish community who tonight are outraged over a display on the campus at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton involving a social media movement called Ye is Right. That started after rapper Kanye West, who now goes by Ye, sent a series of anti-Semitic tweets. Taylor Hernandez is here in the studio with a look at just what happened. Taylor? Well, several clubs and organizations were set up yesterday to show students different ways to get involved on campus. But it was one table in particular that has some wondering just how far First Amendment protections go in free speech. It makes me a little bit nervous because I've never come so close to anti-Semitism before. FAU senior Amanda Barrett describes herself as a proud Jewish woman. She says she was shocked to see the table set up by some Kanye West supporters with a banner reading, yay is right, change my mind. Yesterday on campus was the first time that I personally have ever been that close and have had a, you know, in-person, face-to-face experience with anti-Semitism. I have seen anti-Semitism before, and, and, and this feels different uh, these days. Anti-Semitism is much stronger. FAU did tweet a statement condemning the presence of the quote, yay is right group. That tweet eliciting divided responses, some saying the university violated the free speech of demonstrators, while others praised the university's response. Well, it wasn't about freedom of speech. The people that were standing there, they were fearing for their safety as well. And and that's where, in my opinion, it it, it 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 goes way past freedom of speech. But Central Florida First Amendment attorney Larry Walters says the Constitution does not have an exemption for hate speech. Speech can be both awful and protected by the First Amendment at the same time. In this story over on WPBF.com, you can find our recent coverage of anti-Semitic incidents in Palm Beach and Martin counties. I'll also have a link to the Hillel organization where you can learn more about the work they do in our community. Taylor Hernandez, WPBF 25 News.